it's not cruel summer anymore. Even Taylor Swift's close friends were there to witness the reunion of Swift and Kelsey. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds were at Swift's Rhode Island mansion to celebrate with friends. The famous Hollywood couple, who just released the blockbuster Deadpool and Wolverine, shared a passionate kiss. Behind the blooming flowers at Swift's mansion, when Lively just stepped out of the pool, Ryan was there in time to give her a passionate kiss. It seems like they were ready to go. Because people saw Ryan with a backpack on his shoulder. That shows that the group might be going to the public beach to enjoy the waves. But the moment the couple shared a kiss and looked at each other lovingly was overshadowed by the fact that after more than a month apart, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey reunited in Rhode Island, where they were photographed on the balcony of her stunning high watch home, the most expensive property in the state. Photos obtained by TMZ show Travis, now with longer hair, in a white tank top, and Taylor in a bikini top and shorts. They were joined by Travis' brother Jason and his wife Kylie, along with their three daughters, and Travis' friend, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, along with his two children, daughter Sterling and son Bronze, one. His wife Brittany was not pictured, but DailyMail.com reports she was also present. Taylor and Travis have been apart since July 17, when he was last seen at the Eras tour in Germany. He then returned to Kansas City, where he is preparing for the upcoming NFL season against the Kansas City Chiefs, with the first game of the season set for September 5. Meanwhile, Taylor wrapped up the European leg of her era's tour with five shows at Wembley Stadium in London, but she also felt scared and guilty after being forced to cancel three shows in Vienna, Austria, when authorities foiled a planned terrorist attack. Breaking her silence after returning to Nashville, Taylor wrote on Instagram, Going on stage in London was an emotional roller coaster. The cancellation of our Vienna shows was devastating. The reason for the cancellation has given me a new sense of fear and a lot of guilt because so many people were planning to go to those shows. I am also grateful to the authorities because thanks to them we are grieving for concerts, not lives, she said. The Eras tour will now take a two month break before returning in October to three cities in the US and two cities in Canada concluding the tour in Vancouver in December 2024.